head as if the, they hatched and she was the first thing it saw. A calm, unindicated voice narrates. It follows you whenever you go. It's a cloud of depression. And although you've been on an antidepressant for at least a, six weeks, you're frustrated that your depressive sym symptoms are still with you. Seroquel XR, when added to an anti antidepressant, it approves for the treatment of major depressive disorder. Around the point in the commercial, I began to wonder why my anti antidepressant needs antidepressant. With my little happy pills, need little happy pills friends to push them to that, their fullest potential and are, achieve their grateful purpose. Slowly, the woman regains her ability to smile at her kid's soccer game, pet her dog, chop a carrot, and the cloud trails off as if it's found another head to hover over. The voice returns, listening the side effect as if it's the very a bedtime story. Call your doctor if you have fever, still muscles, and confusions as these can be signs of a life-threatening reaction or if you have unconditional muscles movements at these can be permanent. High blood pressure have also been reported with Seroquel XR and extreme cases can lead to coma or death. Other risks include diseases in white blood cells which can be fatal, seizures, increased cholesterol, weight gain, dizziness on standing, drowningness, impaired judgment, long-lasting painful over extractions and trouble swallowing. Call your doctor if you experience any change in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Around this point, I began wondering if I'm trying not to kill myself. Why is the side effect of this drug wanting to kill myself? <laughs> but the woman in the commercial, in all likelihood, have now 30 pounds heavier and also in a coma, unable to operate heavy machinery or swallow her boyfriend's long-lasting painful erection, would probably be more depressed with their sim th these symptoms if she wasn't such a fucking zombie. But at least that damn cloud is gone, and I never want to know if she misses it, because I'm thinking, give me that cloud, give me these evenings where I do nothing but sit in a bloodless bubble bath until my skin prunes like that of an old woman ready to die. Give me these days where I'd rather watch my dog sit on the carpet than take either of our asses outside. Give me the bell jar, how play turns suicide into a freakly, freak, freshly baked scent that, that pulls you to its oven. Give me that stupid, reliable cloud because it might be the only thing that never leaves. Because being only happy is like having just one crayon. Even if it's the prettiest gray, crayon, it's set, it sure gets boring. Give me that cloud. Give me that ache that lets me know I'm alive. Yeah.